body from the inside. PureRawJuice.com. Swing into summer with the sparkling. Tyler's best sleepover ever. Carol sales manager Brian Sargent here. <laughs> discussed at the former meeting. That's right! We need to make it again, Dave. Uh, too tired, and Jackson wants to do something else. That gives me an idea. Yes, a Rooney positivity. I got bombas. Absurdly comfortable okay. essentials for yourself. So one day in the great big city, as Pinky, Tyler, and Mr. Guinea Pig were in yes. still sleeping, a sunny ringing and Go to quacking noise woke Pinky up. Wants to be like a tour player. Should it be my kitten mitten? And he's already custom fitted for golf clubs. But dad doesn't have precision eyewear. Fastest growing sunglass brand. Could it be tour. one of Tyler's Moo Moo Miggy monsters? With a product that dozens of golf professionals Aww. and caddies use weekly on tour. Go to see better. Oh, better. So it must be my duck phone. That's it's better. just what it is. Hey, <laughs> hey. Hello, this is Pinky. I've been woken up by a noise. Oh, yes, an invitation. All right, all right. Tyler, Mr. Guinea Pig, wake up. There is a surprise waiting for the former at the front door. I just found out about it on my duck phone. So Pinky, Tyler, and Mr. Guinea Pig went down the stairs to see what it was. Oh, it's an invitation. It's a sleepover at Harold the Hamster's house. So that night, Pinky and Tyler helped Mr. Guinea Pig pack for the sleepover and then he rid a hamster hot rod to you. Guess it. Harold the Hamster's house. So Harold and Guinea Pig started right away on their agenda for their had a wood ship jumping contest. Then they ate a cheesy pizza. Then they watched some comedy movies and laughed so hard they fell off the couch. And after, and after that, they did some real world skating at all around the house. Finally, the last thing on the list was to go to sleep. Harold fell asleep in no time, but Mr. Guinea Pig couldn't get to sleep because he missing his owners. He never been without them before. I don't know about you. God, oh, not again. Hello. Oh, wait, I got it. Time to think big. Okay, I'll call you back then. You. All right. If I have a problem, don't know which way to go. I think, and I think, and I think, and I think, and suddenly I know. And then it happened. Pinky had a big idea. Pinky didn't do new just what to do. Why don't you listen to the window, Mr. Guinea Pig? So then Pinky pulled a megaphone to Tyler, who was was bed snoring, and sounded amplified to Harris House. Now that. He heard one of his owners snoring. Mr. Guinea Pig felt much more comfortable and drift off to sleep. And after that, it was per bliss. And, and that exactly what happened pretty much the end. So Tyler and Jackson, what do you think? What? Hey, wake up. Do you like my story, Jackson? No, no long term. The concern I have is that they, well, you were lucky enough to get 
Yesterday, Say no cheese, please. Lineup, cheese, please. Uh, which is, which is probably Let's play a game called What Came First. What came first? That's right, little brother. Hope you're ready to play. Okay. Was it I have my big idea or Mr. Guinea Pig didn't get to sleep? Yes. That's right. It really came first. Yay. Okay, now let's play What Is That Sound? Um, what is that sound? I thought they looked tired after the lunch. That's right, Maybe little that's brother. Excuse, let's play. In fact, I think it, it is. I certainly would like to believe it. In fact, it was you? The other day. And by the way, yeah. the Orioles. And I were, can't were really snore really like good. you, too. So, here if I goes. Put all those things together. <sighs> Am I concerned? No, I, I want to read you this. I love making up stories. I bet you can make up a story too. 